down here you get a good view of your Tuka Wharf with the old buildings that are still in town. Up behind the railway locomotive there is the Customs House. Free Federation, there was no free trade between the colonies. Goods passing from one to another had to have its duty paid on them. That's where you did so. To the right of that with the circular windows, the Shackles Bonded Warehouse. Also the rooftops of some of the remaining hotels in town. Echuca in its boom time had an itinerant population of around 8,000 people. And back then they had their priorities right, and that 8,000 station owners. On the return journey they bring back their wool clips. Transship to Echuca would then head off to Geelong for export overseas. Right here we've got the Pavilion Ryan Slipway, built there in 1910 to service their large fleet of steamers that once operated the Murray. Down the bottom of the slip there's the Ranger, she was built in 1909, she was a fishing boat. Further up the slip, the Ada Barge, awaiting restoration, she was built in 1899. He does it quite often, he stops, and I'll walk into one. <laughs> Couldn't get a better day for Easter. Happy Easter to you all too, by the way, I forgot to say that. I don't know if you've heard...